Hello, welcome to this little video explaining Ambience, which is a Maximus P patch that provides 15 minutes of ambient sounds. Uh, this is what it looks like in presentation mode. Um, you've got the controls up here, and uh, when you start it, you've got some pretty little indicators um, visualizing what's going on. Um, it's running very jittery because of my screencast software, but um, uh, if you download the patch, you'll um, find out that it's, it, it runs actually very smoothly. Um, the current harmony indicator there, um, showing what notes are actually being played. Uh, it doesn't take into account the, the various sort of feedback layers, but I'll go into that in a minute. Um, here is the, uh, you've got an FFT um, spectroscope and the same data represented in a sonogram, um, which just provides some visual interest. Um, this is obviously in presentation mode. Um, you can control the gain like that, and you can stop it, or there's also an option for a 10 second fade out. Uh, so let's see what it's like in not presentation mode. That's when you potentially get a surprise. But actually, it's very well organized, and, and um, if you are interested in finding out how it works, um, you can download it and everything's labeled and annotated um, in all the various sub-patches. So you can see it's got lots of different layers. Uh, let me just turn it down for the minute. Um, when you click Start, um, different time periods um, are generated. So, for example, at 17 seconds, uh, something's going to happen at 700 seconds. These things um, send bangs, bang messages to, um, and you can see where they where they where they come in. Um, these patches receive the bang messages, um, and then they have various functions. For example, in the well, I won't go into that. That's the more complicated layer. So I'll do that at the end. I'll start from from here. So noise generator. That's the um, that's the white noise um, that you can hear. The fuzzy noise. Um, it looks complicated, but really it's just um, it's just filtering the noise in random ways um, to keep it constantly shifting and changing. Um, so if you tune in to that one in particular in the background. You can hear it just pulsating. Uh, and that's just um, using various uh, cycle objects and um, the cross objects are, um, are just um, EQing. Uh, I think they're, um, yeah, it's a low pass and a high pass. So you can see one's coming out the right hand side, the right outlet, the other one's coming out the left outlet. So that's basically um, cutting away the, the top and bottom ends of the signal. Um, and the point, the frequency at which it's cutting off is being constantly shifted. Um, and there's also a slight uh, stereo delay created by the delay tilde object. Um, that's basically how that one works. Um, the start stop patches that you'll see everywhere are just uh, volume controls so um, generally they just um, start or stop or fade out um, and um, since these are on every layer you can actually mute um, different layers so you hear the, um, the fuzziness has just gone away and it's come back so that's useful if you want to hear what uh, individual layers are actually doing. Um, I'll just have a quick look at the sign generators now. Uh, these are fairly simple, um, just using sine waves because uh, they've got quite a nice pure tone. Um, and with each bang message being received, uh, it means that a new note, well, a combination of two notes, and there's only a limited number, but they are random each time. Um, so you get two random notes being combined and they have a pulsating rhythm to them uh, which is made by 
changing the low frequency oscillators here um, each each time a bang message and that, and again the, these those bang messages are being generated when you press start um, uh, uh, happening at random points in the 15 minutes second sign generator is the same sort of deal um, slightly more complex uh, but the, that's explained there. Occasional bass. Um, you can probably guess what that does. Uh, it, you probably heard at the beginning. Um, I believe oh, it's not doing anything now. So you can use these meters to tell if a layer is doing anything. Um, basically, that's that's again just sine waves. It's actually creating an octave um, using um, just minusing twelve from the MIDI value um, and these are just um, it's just choosing random lengths and envelopes so there's only four different envelopes but it's, it is random each time I think that, yeah there we go, there's a bass note there so I'll mute this um, I'll mute the fuzzy noises and I'll mute the sign generators for the minute so you can listen in to what's left and the bass has decided it's finished so that won't happen until the next bang now what we're left with is these pitch delay sub patches um, these are basically using the um, using a combination of the um, FFT gadget which comes with Max MSP that's a pitch shifting um, processor processor um, yeah um, and then uh, combining that with tap in tap out which is uh, creating a feedback buffer and the you get nice little sweeps um, which are caused by um, new values for the pitch shifting algorithm to work with and it and it's and it curves down or up to those values. So um, at the moment, though, because I've shut off the um, sine waves, I don't think we're getting much. We're just getting the fuzzy noise on the bass. Well, we've heard the bass now. That's lovely. Um, I think that's that's basically how it works. It's just got a few different layers all built up, and um, there you go. Receiving the noise, you can guess what, where that's coming from. Uh, and is this one the sine? Yeah. So you've got a, two different pitch delays. One's working with the sine waves, and one's working with the the white noise. Um, so if I stop it and start it again, you can hear all the layers together. See, it makes beautiful pictures, and those high frequency sweeps up and down um, are the pitch delay sub patches. That's going up, and you, hear, you can hear that sine wave with that um, that pulse to it. Sometimes it makes a, something approximating a 7-8 rhythm, which is quite nice. The only uh, thing I didn't cover was the, uh, the panning sub-patches, and these just randomly pan. Some of them have different ranges. Um, they might not go completely to the right. I think this one does, though. Yeah. So that's scale from 0 to 127, which is the value of the slider. See, this one has a more limited range.
So, uh, feel free to download the patch. I'll put up a link. Um, have a play around with it. Um, it's a good way to learn Max if you don't already know it. Um, if you do use the patch for any um, interesting purposes, uh, feel free to let me know. Send me a message. Um, if you want me to tweak it for any particular purpose, I can do that. Otherwise, let's watch it fade out. Or listen to it fade out. I hope you found that interesting and informative. Um, I hope it is of vague interest to someone. Um, yeah, please subscribe if that was interesting and you want to see more Max MSP related videos. Um, and like the video if it was useful. Peace out.